go, Crocky. You'll be back splashing around with your flute in no time. His what now? His flute. That's what you call a group of crocodiles. Animal groups have all kinds of fun names. Really? Like, what else? Aha! I'm glad you asked. Well, geese live in a gaggle and coyotes in a pack and a group of jellyfish is called a snack. Here's a rookery of seals and an army made of ants. By the seashore, you can find a gulp of cormorants, zeal of zebras, hover of crows, lions or prides, as everyone knows they're quivers of cobras and shivers of sharks, and an exultation is a group of larks. Wow, she really rehearsed this. You've got prickles full of porcupines, consortiums of crabs, and a loveliness of ladybugs just looks so fast. A kaleidoscope of butterflies, a scurry full of squirrels, and this load of hippopotami are happy girls. Circus of puffins, geese of raccoons, stand up flamingos, troop of baboons. A group of bugs becomes a clash, but rhinoceros can make an even bigger crash. <laughs> now, here's the one and only Never Beast. Never Beast? Never Beast? Never mind. Tell you later. So, kangaroos can form a mob, iguanas are a mess, even friendly ravens are an unkindness. Goldfish are a troubling kind of star embarrassments, but a wise bunch of owls from a parliament. Shrewdness of apes and mischief of rats, business affairs and cauldron of scats. And although his strange credulity, these wildebeest are an impossibility. Uh, what were hippos again? <gasps> Disney's Tinkerbell and the Legend of the Never Beast, coming soon to Blu-ray and digital. Rated G. <laughs>